Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Where y'all been? <laughs> Actually, I've been away. I was in Trinidad for eight days. I think my husband posted two videos for me while I was away, but I'm back. Um, I had a grand time in Trinidad, as I always do. It's, it was always, uh, it was peaceful, relaxing. I was showered with lots of love from the people in Trinidad. Um, my spiritual father is there. So um, I hung out with him and his wife and his daughter. I got to spend time with them and I was treated really, really, really nice. So um, I'm back, I'm back. Um, but just let me give you a little fun fact about me. Um, even though I've been on a plane many, many times, I do not like flying y'all. I don't like none of that stuff. I don't like um, the hustle and bustle of the airport. I don't like, I just don't like the planes, the turbulence sitting next to strangers. I don't like that. But what a plus is for me is that I have global entry. So I have TSA pre-check. So I get to go through the line where I don't have to take off my belt, don't have to take off my jacket, don't have to take off my shoes. So that's a bonus. So I do like that. So I don't have to wait in the lines. I could just go ahead and bypass that line and go to the TSA pre-check. You might want to look into that if you if you fly. You might want to look into the global entry and uh, where you get TSA pre-check. I think it costs money to be a part, but who cares? You get to bypass the line. You get to keep your shoes on because I don't really like taking that whole shoes off thing because when I fly, you I have to think about what I'm wearing. Do I have shoes on that I have to untie? Do I have socks on? Uh, this whole kind of thing. So look into that if that's what you do. I mean, if you fly, look into the global entry where you can have TSA pre-check. But I'm back now. I'm finished flying for right now. I got some other things coming up later on in the year if the Lord allows me to do it. But for right now, I'm home. And um, I have a thrift haul that I want to show you. Um, I only, it's just a small one, but I, let's just go ahead and let me show you what I have. So the first thing I thrifted um, are these little rain boots that I thrifted for one of my grandsons. They have dinosaurs on. Let me just turn that little sparkly thing, move it out of the way. They have dinosaurs on them and they're brand new. That was that little tag. They're brand new. Let me just move that. And they light up. So I saw these and I said, I don't know if he could fit them or not, but I'm going to get them. They're only $2.99 for brand new. They're, they're brand new. And so I sent them to his mom and she said that he will like them. The next thing I thrifted yesterday is this J. Crew bodysuit. Now, normally I don't buy bodysuits. I don't know what just happened to that camera. But normally I don't buy bodysuits because they're just kind of creepy. But I felt this one. I checked the seat. And this is like, feels like it was barely worn. Um, they had a pink one there, but I chose to just to get this black one. I felt so blessed when I saw the black one because I was like, I wish they had a black one. And boom, two steps over, and here was a black one. So I like this. It's a J. Crew. Like I said, it's a J. Crew um, <clears throat> bodysuit or body blouse or leotard, whatever you call it. Um, and it is, how much did I pay for it? $4.99. I didn't get anything on sale yesterday. I don't really like that, but that's how it worked. I think I only ended up spending like, $30. The next thing I thrifted from that same Goodwill is this cute little look. Fun bag. It's a fun bag. I believe it's a makeup bag. That's what I think it is. It's a makeup bag. But you don't have to carry it as a makeup bag. You can carry it as an actual purse if you want to be cute. Um, I like the fringe detailing. That's what drew me to it. The fringe detailing. Um, you can, um, it is by the brand Lancome, and I paid five forty nine for it. Now, let me just tell y'all, I think five forty nine is too much. I think it should have been in something like between three and four dollars. But I liked it, so I chose to get it. Which I think it's cute, right? So the next thing I thrifted, um, I think last week, earlier this week, I think I went to the Goodwill on Monday. I went to the Goodwill on Monday, and then I went yesterday. Um, I thrifted these nice little rain boots. I had a nice pair of rain boots, um, about maybe four or five years ago, and I never bought any more, but because these are in excellent condition, because they had that cute little black and white bow, and because they're just like barely worn, and because they were only $8, I chose to get them. Um... I think rain boots are really nice, but sometimes I think like it has to be really, really raining for you to wear them, but I'm going to make it work. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to wear them. 
I would make it work. All right, so I just dropped them on the floor. The next thing I thrifted, I thrifted this a while ago, and I just, I just liked it, right? It's just a man's shirt, a man's button up. And it's by Perry Ellis. I just like the color. I can see it with some jeans tied up. That's why I, that's why I wanted it because um, I wanted to wear it with some jeans tied up like that. Do y'all wear um, men's clothes? Do you wear like men's blazers or men's shirts like that? Do you wear those things? I mean, it's, it's pretty exciting. I've, I've used to wear them like years ago. I used to wear men's blazers. Um, then I stopped and now I'm back to wearing men's blazers and men's shirts yes so i like that the next thing that i have is this just a white linen top and i like the way this little pleat can you see that little pleat in the front i like it i like detailed stuff that's actually i like clothing sometimes it's kind of loose fitting i think the older i get the more loose fitting i want my clothes to be now hope that's okay with my husband i don't think so but <laughs> When I can, I will wear some loose fitting clothing, but this will be nice with some white um, um, jeans in the, in the spring, summer. Um, this will be nice with some, just some blue jeans, any kind of bottom, colorful bottom, this will be nice. And it's, it's light, you know, and it's linen, so it's breathable. Look, so let me just tell y'all, there is no sun outside at all. So if the camera looks dreary, it's because there's no sun, but I had to get this video out. So bear with me. Okay, so I thought I was recording. I had paused the video and I wasn't recording. So I'm going to pick off, pick up where I thought I was, but really wasn't. <laughs> okay, so this, this little pretty little thing right here, I thrifted yesterday. When I go to the th store, I usually ask the Lord if he can bless me with something that's really nice to me. It doesn't have to be nice to anyone else. But nice to me, maybe stylish, something that I've seen on other people that I may want. And so I just looked into the rack and I saw this beautiful pleated, one little split, not too high, split silk skirt. Um, I paid $6 for it. It's by the brand St. Jillian. And I saw this and I said, thank you, Lord. Now, I can't fit it. Well, let me just say this. I can't fit it now. Um, it closes It closes some, but not the way it should. And the reason being is because when I was in Trinidad, I was treated so nicely. As soon as I got off the plane, I went to dinner. And then there were different times where people took me out to dinner or lunch. And so I gained probably like six to eight pounds. But I'm on my way to losing weight because what I'm going to do is just say, no, I'm not having that. I'm not eating that. But it is my size. It's eight. So for sure, I will be in this. So I really like this. Isn't this color pretty? Tell me, do you think this color is pretty? I know it's pretty. Um, the next thing I thrifted um, yesterday is this. Um, why does the camera keep doing that? This down filled down feathered fill blazer i've never seen a blazer like this before it has feathers inside never 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 seen it oh the the lining is silk it's by the brand um itw by claude brown it says it's a tw size 12 but i don't think it's a size 12 if it is maybe it's a vintage or something i don't really know but um it has the nice little buttons in the back it has pockets in the front. Let me move forward so you can see it has pockets in the front. And I'm excited to wear this. I'm really, really excited to wear this. And I paid how much for this? $8.99. The next thing I have is this leather jacket. Now, if you know anything about leather, you can see that this is a quality jacket. This jacket is really, really nice. It is lamb's leather. It doesn't say that it's lamb's leather. It just says 100% leather. But if you've been around some leather, you can feel it and feel that this is lamb right here. It's the very, very soft one. And um, it's by Jones, New York. I paid $12.99, so $13 for it. And look at it. I, I couldn't leave this in the store. There is no way, even though I have probably like five or six leather jackets, there's no way I could leave this in the store. And this is the last piece 
that I have. These are some cute little slides, fringe detailing slides. They're gold. They're kind of like goldish green. And this is by Zara, as you can see, they're brand new. I got these from the Salvation Army for $15. Well, $16. And they sell in Zara for $50. So there's no way I would pay $50 for these. Not even all the way. It's not a whole shoe. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I have. This that's the end of my haul. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking around. So listen, tell me what kind of hauls y'all would like to see. I'm going to do a different haul coming up, something different, because everybody does the same thing on YouTube, and it's nice, but it also can get kind of boring. So I want to do something different. Um, I'm trying to look around. Give me a minute. I'm looking around. Let's see if there's anything else I need to show you. If it is, I'll just save for another haul. But tell me what you like. Tell me your favorite piece. Um, tell me, do you all want me to thrift larger sizes? Because the reason why I haven't thrift larger sizes for several reasons. A lot of people that I know haven't shown interest in buying thrifted clothes. If people show interest in buying thrifted clothes, um, I will buy larger sizes. So the way, where I make my money at is on Poshmark, uh, on my clothes or some larger sizes that I have already. So if you're interested in buying some thrifted clothes and you want me to um, you want me to thrift larger sizes, comment and let me know if that's what you want to do. So you will see them on here, but you can purchase them um, in my Poshmark closet. So talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me what you want. Talk to me. <laughs> so I think that's it for right now. Thank you for being a part of the family and uh, I'll catch you in another video.